What actually are inexplicit ideas? They are all information in a mind that can affect the mind, but is not expressed in, a, in any kind of language, symbolic language. How is that even possible? Because presumably the brain has some kind of code that it's running and presumably it has some kind of symbolic language that it's running. So how, how is it even possible that there could be inexplicit ideas? I don't think that the brain has a language in that sense. I, so I think it's not a computer. <laughs> it is a computer, but its functioning is... So the logic in a brain, unlike the computer, is an emergent property of what the brain is actually doing. And what the brain is actually doing is like similar in structure to what a monkey's brain is actually doing. And if you were studying all that with a, micro with a microscope and a supercomputer, you know, to analyze it, you'd have to go quite deep into the analysis bec before you could see that the human mind is using symbols abstractly to represent things. So rather like alphabets evolve Early alphabets or early writing had pictures of the things that, that the symbols referred to. So that was kind of halfway between having a symbol and having a, a language. And then the symbols evolved and eventually the symbols themselves came to represent nothing, nothing at all. We, we can even have silent letters in our words and so on, and which are hist historical and also sounds that are not represented by letters in the word. But, but the word, therefore, has a much sharper meaning because the language has abstraction and symbolism and that, that is the level at which the brain is like a computer, although it has a different program from a computer, so it's still unlike it. But there is logic in the brain at an emergent level but at a lower level, there's just physics. There's just biology, 